Hello everyone and welcome back to another video or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I'm going to be showing you guys skin details that I cannot live without. So I'm not going to show you all of the ones that I have, just my favorites, the ones that I highly recommend. I get a lot of questions asking what skin details and overlays and stuff that I use for my sims. So you guys will get to see what I use in this video and I will be linking all of the ones that I show you in the video description below as well. So with that, let's go ahead and begin. So if you're new to my channel and don't know, I have a royal family series on my channel, which I'll link below. This is Queen Nea. She's one of my queens from my royal family series. So right now, this is Nea. This is the skin details that she has. Some of the skin details I'll show you are not used by just her, but I'll show you them anyway. I'll bring in someone else later to show you guys the ones I use for the males. There is going to be a mix of things that I'll show you guys. It's going to be eyes, hairlines, eyelashes, nose blushes, a bunch of stuff. There are going to be 14 things that I'll show you in today's video. Number one is the eyes. I use Eyes on You by Marvel. They're my favorite. I've never really used anything else or found anything that I like. I just like the look of them on my Sims. They're very natural looking and they're just really pretty and they have a bunch of different shades. So the ones that I have, I have the default ones downloaded and they also have a heterochromia option that makes the eyes two different colors. That one is located in skin details. So you guys can see all the different colors that they have here. And then for the heterochromia, that is located in the skin details section, which is right here. That does clip with anything in the ring category, so just be aware of that. Number two is the skin tones that I use, the custom content skin tones. So they are Bare Skin Tones by, I'm about to mispronounce this, I'm so sorry, but by Lama Tisi, L-A-M-A-T-I-S-S-E. I like this because it has so many different options and they have different shades with different undertones that you can choose from. So there are multiple links in number three. The first link is for the Remove EA Lashes mod by Kijiko. I don't like EA lashes and they look better. The custom content lashes look better without the EA lashes. So I highly recommend getting that mod. And then the second link to number three is the lashes that I use. So they have lashes that come in the skin details section and then they have lashes that come in the accessory section. For the skin detail lashes, they do conflict with any rings that your Sims are wearing. So they'll turn out something like this. So most of the time I do use the ones in the accessories category. They're under the glasses category. Again, first one is the Remove EA Lashes mod. And the ones under that are all the lashes that I use because they have different versions. And those lashes are also by Kijiko. Now I am going to remove all of Naya's skin details. So this is Nea with no skin details at all. Number four is a face overlay and I live and breathe this face overlay. It's my favorite. It's the one that got me into using skin details after my sim had turned into an adult and it completely changed their face. I was like, oh no. So I found the skin detail and I love it so much. It is satin finish by Hayden. Look at the difference that it makes. There are different versions here too, so you can make it a bit more transparent like this. And then the different swatches, it can change the shading of the face to make it a little bit lighter or a little bit darker, or you can do it so they can see the wrinkles more underneath. And I'll show you guys my favorite wrinkles later as well. But this is my absolute favorite. I use it all the time. I'll try to mix it with other skin details too if I can, like other face overlays and skin overlays. I also really love this because it doesn't completely change the shape of the face like other face overlays do. I'm gonna show you guys one in just a second that does change the shape of the face. But yeah, Satin Finish by Hayden. 100% recommend. If anything, if I had to choose one skin detail to have, it would, well, I don't know. It's either this or the eye. No, I think this one. This is my favorite. The next one I'll show you is actually an alpha skin overlay. So I typically mix alpha and Maxis match. I know some people have a pet peeve about that. I don't typically mind, especially for this. So I'll show it to you without the satin finish by Hayden. But this is the skin overlay. But when you mix it with the satin finish by Hayden, it doesn't look as alpha. This to me just adds a little bit more shading. I usually use it, I don't use it on all my Sims. I only use it on some of them, but it makes them look a little bit older. So as they get older, I'll put it on some of them and it just makes them look a little bit more mature. But this one, oh, sorry, this is by Praline Sims, the Praline Sims Alpha Skin Overlay. So this is number five. This one is applied to the whole body. So as you can see, the collarbone is more defined. 
and the hands are more defined as well. There's also a male version on here, which is also linked below. So it's the male and female version. So this is what I use, again, not on all of my characters in the series, but just on some of them. The next skin overlay I'll show you, I don't use this on Naya, but I use it on a couple of my Sims. I definitely don't use it as much as the Hayden Satin Finish or the one by Praline Sims, but I like this one because there, yeah, you can see it like completely changes the face shape, but there's two options on here. And the second one adds freckles to the body and I love it. Oh, did I say what this was? I'm so sorry. This is number six, a skin blend, Cookie Dough by Sammy XOX. But I use this on a good amount of my characters. This is on Ellis, this is on Fallon, this is on Nia. And I love the ones with the freckles too. So they have one with freckles and one without. Number seven is Boo Boo Blush by Squeamish Sims. I typically only use this for my males because for the females, they have the blush that's in the makeup category. But this, oh, this one's really pretty. Right, so ignore that. But you guys can see it just adds a little bit of color to their face, a little bit more natural color. And then again, they have the, I've never actually seen it pixelate on the nose like that. So I think that's just for Nea for some reason. It doesn't do that on the other ones, but yeah, they have different shades for them. So you can have it be more prominent, like a brighter color, or you can have it be a little bit more subtle. I just like the little bit of color that it adds. Or for the kids too, I use this on toddlers, for both male and females, toddlers and the kids. Number eight is Dark Stone Nose Blush. This is one of my favorite nose blushes. I can't use it on everyone because it does have a little bit of color on it and it doesn't work as well with the lighter skin tones because it has like a bit of a gray spot if you use the lightest color. They do have a bunch of different colors like the red or the pink one, purple. I've only ever really used this one, the first one and the third one. For some reason for this, it sometimes will pixelate. I think this is supposed to be a little bit more transparent, but it usually pixelates on my Sims. So I typically just use this one or this one. But yeah, this is Dark Stone Nose Blush, one of my favorites. So number nine is actually able to be used as an alternative for the Dark Stone Nose Blush. This one is Face Kit by Pixis. This one is great because they put one in like every skin detail category. And this has so much stuff. So again, I use this as an alternative for the No Shine, as you guys can see. The different colors are going to be different categories. So the lime green, different No Shines. And then you also have face highlights, you guys can see here. And then they have options to where it changes the mouth shape a bit and adds a little bit of shading and mouth creases. Or you have ones that change the no shape and add a little bit more shading as well. They have all of these different options. So this is fun to just play around with. They have eye bags. They have, let's see, what else do they have? Uh, mostly, yeah, for the mouth and for the nose. Number 10 are three different hairlines that I use by Gopples. I think gulples me, gopples me. I love using hairlines now. I feel weird if my Sims don't have it. To me, it just makes such a difference. Sometimes it's hard with the blonde hairs to find a hairline that does match. I'm gonna show you two different options because with this one, you actually can't use this with the Boo Boo Blush because they're in the same category. So this one is by Gopples Me and I have three different ones that I use. I have, oh no, I'm sorry, four links. There's four links down there. So yeah, G4, G5, G2. This one doesn't say what one that is, but it's linked below. An alternative for hairlines. This is number 11. This is a hairline by Obscurus. So this one is a, it like comes down further. Let me find one that matches Naya's hair color. There we go. So for this one, it's in a different category. So you can use this with the Boo Boo Blush. This is also available for toddlers, for kids. They also have one that comes in the tattoo section. So if it does conflict with something else here and you wanna use it, you can put it on in the tattoo section. So it's just another option for hairlines that I use. I use both of them a lot on all of my Sims. I try to change it up a little bit so no one has the same. I mean, like some of them have the same hairline, but so not everyone has the same hairline. Number 12 is called Soft Freckles by Alfsi. So these are very subtle freckles. I use these a lot for sunspots too. So my royal family that live in Sulani, a lot of them have these just because I kind of think they're like from being out in the sun. I do have alternative freckles that I will link below this one. I don't have any other full body ones besides the ones in the cookie dough skin blend. I know some people don't always wanna use the cookie dough skin blend and still want their Sim to have full body freckles. I'm trying to find alternatives, but I don't have any at the moment, but there will be links to three other freckles that I'm showing you guys right now um, in the description below. Number 13 are eye bags. I don't actually use these on Naya and you guys saw some 
some eye bags come with the Pixis face kit that I showed you earlier as well. I use these on a like maybe four of my characters, but some people like them so much. So these are eye bags by S Club and they come in a few different shades as well. And the last skin detail I will show you today are Landline Wrinkles by Simulation Cowboy. These are the most realistic to me. However, it's going to be kind of hard to see with the Hayden Satin finish. You have to pick a specific one to be able to see these. So hold on one second. Okay, there we go. So now you guys can see. This does make a difference and it depends what you wanna use, but for the Hayden Satin finish, depending on what swatch you use, it makes it a little bit more subtle. These are the most realistic wrinkles. I just started using these very recently, but for my characters that are getting a little bit older, I like to use these a lot. And then you can just change the swatch of the satin finish by Hayden if you want them to be a little bit more prominent like that. And they have two swatches for the landline wrinkles there's this one and there's this one so that is when your sim is more of an elder but yeah these are by far my favorite wrinkles so those are all my favorite skin details that I'm showing you guys today the ones that I really cannot live without they're my favorite they're the ones that I use the most on my characters in my royal family series let me know which ones you download and which ones are your favorite from this list if you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video bye